Hi, I'm Ryan Michael Galloway here with We Don't Need No Stinking Record And, uh, you know, I've heard a lot of folks come out and talk about their careers lately. Uh, one was uh, Smokey Robinson, who uh, was down at South by Southwest. Made a great talk about the kind of uh, luck that a lot of people have to have to make it in, to make it big time. And then, man oh man, uh, Mick Jagger comes out. He, he's written a book recently and he's out all over the place. And talking about um, his band and what happened back in the 60s. And you could apply the same virtual conversation to the Who or the Beatles or anybody else that were his contemporaries. Even a little bit newer stuff like Elton John and then on up the train all through the 70s and the 80s and whatever. They asked him, you know, why were they so special? And he said, well, we were a really good band, but we were extremely, extremely lucky. We got to be in the right place at the right time, and it took off. Well, um, you may or may not have luck come through. What are you going to do while you're waiting for luck to come around? Um, the chances are very high that you're not going to hit that level of stardom. Does that really matter? Again, hark me back to last night's post. Does that really matter if you have got the passion and you absolutely love and your soul is filled by what you're doing anyway? Well, not as much. And frankly, luck comes in a lot of different levels. And in the meantime, what are you, what are you going to do while you're waiting for luck to come around? You're going to execute all this stuff that I'm teaching you how to do. You're going to build your list. You're going to figure out who your true fans are. You're going to figure out who your sneezers are. You're going to grow what you got. You're going to spend years doing this. And eventually you'll have one or 2,000 or 3,000 or 5,000 people following you. And at that point, the chances of you making one to $300,000 a year, if you're doing it right, is pretty high. And that's pretty good pay. And it's good pay even compared to what a lot of rock stars make amortized over time because they get a quick flash in the plant pan and they, they many, most, fade off into nothingness, into nobody. Uh, they don't learn how to do the stuff that we're learning how to do right here to sustain their careers. What if you do get lucky, a little bit lucky? What if you get a hit record? You can milk that till it moves for many years. Let me tell you, you can get a lot of shows, you can play Vegas, you can do all kinds of things to make money out of it. But what's carrying you? Is it the money? No. It's the fun you're having doing this thing, right? Okay. Um, so, uh, I guess what I'm talking about is, you know, there are a few job openings per year for megastars. For the people like Pink, who I think is probably going to be around for a long time and do extremely well. For people like Elton John, who are around for a really long time. For Paul McCartney. They're, they're, every once in a while, a new person gets to come along and be that person. But there's only just a few a year. I mean, at the outside, if you included all genres, it might be 35 uh, job openings, shall we say, okay? But in the meantime, there are those of us who can play house concerts, who can release our own CDs, who can circulate in a region or several, uh, you know, in a, in a uh, around the country, are willing to travel or find other ways to get their music out in movies and advertisements and sitcoms and, you know, uh, television shows, who figure out other ways to make the kinds of alliances and markets for themselves, or they find a niche that they can serve, or they play for kids in a certain area, and they walk away with several hundred thousand dollars a year in album sales and and uh, and shows, and you know whatever. Um, you find your niche, you find your strength, you exploit, you play to those, you exploit them, and you become um, a kind of a craftsman. You become the artisan musician. And you don't necessarily need to play to 10, 10 or 20,000 seat halls, although that would be lovely and wonderful to do. And maybe you get led to that. Maybe you can eventually be a warm-up act for somebody fairly major or something like that who's, who's hitting it really big in, in that very stellar uh, area and, and you get to go on their coattails or something. But in the meantime, what do you do? Well, what do you do while you're waiting for that luck to come around, which it may never? You prepare. You build your craft. You do all these things that I'm telling you. And when the luck does come around, you find yourself prepared. You find yourself ready to sustain a career. You find yourself um, uh, with a lot of depth. And you find out that you've lived and you've lived long enough and learned, been through enough experiences that you have enough stuff to write about, that you're feeling uh, the lyrics that you're singing. And it, it'll carry you a lot further away. If the luck never, never shows up, you still have a great career. You still do some really awesome stuff because, after all, you get to, to do what you love to doing all along, right? 
So uh, that's a little bit about what you do while you're waiting for luck to show up. I am Ryan Michael Galloway, and we don't need no stinking record company.com.